What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video. We got brand new level cap increase today in Mutt 21 with the start of Series 5 and we're going to go over the best two solos that you guys can play currently to level up fast and get to that level 90 reward threshold. Before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at what re rewards you can expect for the level cap up to 90. So all you have to do Anytime you're looking for level rewards is go to the mission section, go to Mutt Dedication, and you go down to Mutt Level, and you'll be able to go through these. So we've already hit level 81 using one of the two methods that I'm going to show you in this video, and they're not different from what we've been doing for probably the last three series, but anytime a new level cap happens, I like to kind of do a refresh on this and put out the method for all of you guys who might be searching for it. And if you're new here, if you're looking for ways to level up fast and you found my video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you're looking to understand understand mutt better if you're looking to make coins take advantage of promos get free cards overall just build a better mutt team make sure you guys check out the rest of my video so here we go level 81 you get two exclusive store offers now one of them costs points or coins i'm sorry one of them costs coins or training and the other one costs points we're going to show you those in a moment but this is what you get at level 81 with these special offers you can find it guess what in the special offer section of the store and the first pack that you get is a $4 pack, level 81 premium legend fantasy pack. It's going to give you a choice of a bunch of legends there. It is a fantasy pack. You get what you want to get. And then there's also one that either costs coins or training. So they kind of brought this back. And this one gives you either a Vic, a Dion, a Kevin Maguire, or a Mean Joe Green. Now, if you're going to be opening up any of these legend packs or these level packs that cost money, make sure when you get to this screen, right, to add points on either PlayStation or Xbox down below at the bottom, you're going to hit square on playstation or x on xbox it allows you to put in a promo code make sure you guys put in promo code pop it doesn't give you any free cards any free packs any discounts on these packs but it is a supporter creator code where it supports me and if you guys want to show me some love i'd appreciate it if you're opening up these level packs or any bundles throughout the rest of the year and we also have an exclusive level 90 pack that we're going to show you guys in a moment here. So back to the level rewards. At level 82, you're going to get a Legends Fantasy pack. So that pack will be free. You don't have to pay any coins, points, training, anything for it. At level 83, you're going to get a 96 overall power-up pass. Later this weekend, we will be dropping videos on the best cards to use your 96 power-up pass. And eventually your 97 because that's one of the other rewards. Uh, so stay tuned for those videos. At level 84, you get a 45,000 coin reward 85 you get some solos unlocked to help you level up that andre johnson level master card at level 86 you're going to get another store offer it's going to be similar to level 81 i'll show you some pictures that they revealed on gmm since i have not unlocked it yet myself but these are the two packs that you're going to get to choose from one's points one's coins or training so check those out at level 87 you will be locking unlocking more solos to level up that andre Jan johnson card at level 88 you're going to get another legends fantasy pack again this one will not cost you anything it normally just opens or pops as soon as you uh, get to that level so in this case level 88 you can always back out of this pack by hitting circle or i believe it's b on xbox circle on playstation it allows you to basically not make your choice if you want to open it up later or wait for some limiteds to be in packs little tip there for you at level 89 you're going to get another 45,000 coin reward and then at level 90 you're going to get yourself a 97 overall power up pass again we'll drop videos on the best cards to use for that but keep in mind right off the rip 97 overall aaron Rodgers' is limited honors card that's going to be a very popular one to use it on you had the ultimate legend that came out last week with randall cunningham we got ultimate legends coming out tomorrow they should be 97 overall jim thorpe is one of them that's been revealed you can use this power up pass on some of the brand new best cards in the game uh, but we'll drop a video focusing on that now not only do you get that at level 90 but there is an exclusive store offer this one again is going to cost you points but it's a series 5 redux pack so this is pretty cool the only thing we don't know and if anybody can confirm it for me that would be awesome we don't know if this is a fantasy pack i don't think it is but maybe it will be i don't know or it's a random card now it's going to give you a 95 plus so it's going to be worth the risk for me of course but 
if you guys want to skip past this one i totally understand it so now let's talk about how you level up fast how you get to level 90. there's two different solos that you can use and again these are the same two solos we've been using for probably the last three series i think this one right here personally is faster but there's another way that will show you that I think, you know, it, we could argue. It's been timed before, and I think if you timed it yourself, if you did both of these solos in like a five-minute period, you'd find yourself earning more XP from this method that we're going to show you first. But this one's a little bit boring, to be honest, and it gets tiresome to do. So I'll show you them both anyways, and it's up to you on which one you want to do. So, level 7 in the level challenges. So it's like the first string. You're going to go down to the solo that shows you. It says, quick off the line. You're going to go to play solo. It already makes you play it on one star. There's nothing that you really need to change or do there. Once you load into the solo, we'll show you what to do. The objective is to perform five ball carrier moves in seven plays. We're going to do this very simple, but the first thing you need to make sure you do is change your tempo to no huddle. So that's L1 on PlayStation. It's left trigger or left bumper on Xbox. Sorry, I'm never familiar with the Xbox controller. I recommend going to a stretch play or some type of outside run. So we're just going to go to slot close here, pick halfback stretch. And basically what we're going to do is run the ball and spam the stiff arm button. That's going to be X on PlayStation, A on Xbox. So we snap the ball. We just spam this. The, the trick here is to get five ball carrier moves. Now you don't want to run out of bounds and you also just want to commit to the ground. The quicker you do this, the quicker you're going to get XP, right? So we just got 50 XP for doing that. We're going to go to replay challenges, play game. And because we selected no huddle, it brings us right up to the line with the same exact play. We do the same thing. Don't go out of bounds. Commit yourself to the ground. You can do that by double tapping square on PlayStation, uh, X on Xbox, or uh, pressing it very gently. We go to replay challenge. We're just going to keep doing this. Now, you can flip the play. So if you want to use your right analog stick and flip the play, just to stay away from the sideline, you certainly can. You can run backwards. It doesn't matter. The only thing you need to focus on and do as fast as possible here is get those five stiff arms done. And by spamming that button, It'll get done pretty quickly. You see, if we flip the play, it brings us to the opposite hash. So it gives us a little more running room, prevents us from, you know, going out of bounds accidentally. And we're basically just going to keep doing this. As you can see, pretty simple, but pretty boring. And, you know, it's earning us XP extremely fast. It's not the largest amount of XP, but because of how fast you can earn it, that's why it's pretty effective. Now, I always recommend maybe doing this for about 5 to 10 to 15 minutes and then go check your progress. Never do any of these methods for like a half hour, 45 minutes. Servers could go down, something could go wrong, and you could lose all of your progress and basically waste your time. So spot check it, 5, 10, 15 minutes around there. You go to return to challenges. It's basically going to bring you back to the menu, and it's going to confirm that you've been earning your XP all along. And like I said, from this solo, you're basically going to earn 50 XP every single time you do that. Now we have a second solo that earns you more XP, I think 70 total, but takes slightly longer. So though you're earning more XP, in my opinion, you're not earning it as fast. And again, if you time yourself in about a five minute span, you're going to find this one is quicker if you do it like I show you how to do it. But let's show you that second solo anyway. Your second option can be found in the rival solo. So you're going to go all the way up down here to, I know that was a contradiction, up down. But you're going to go to the Zach Ertz finals, right? Or quarterfinals challengers, Zach Ertz solos. And you're going to go to the fifth one. So this one right here with the letter V is the best way I can put it. Make sure you play it on one star. We're going to load into the solo and the objective of this one is to get 50 yards so basically you want to complete a pass uh, one pass get your 50 yards and move on and we're going to use the same principles that we did on the other one once we load into the solo here the very first thing you must do is change your tempo to no huddle so l1 on playstation here and we're going to go to a play it really doesn't matter but i just like a single side receiver on the left part of your screen so we'll go to trips halfback week here and we'll just go to four verticals the main idea here is you're going to throw it on the left side of the field and you want a streak at this point you want a fast receiver there most of you probably have a fast enough receiver to beat this solo on one star and not worry about it but all you're going to do is just kind of throw it up there rack catch it and right around the 40 yard line Go towards the sideline and give yourself up. Again, double tapping square or X on PlayStation. This is going to end the solo, so you get your XP, but it also prevents you from doing any type of first down celebration. And then with the no huddle, if we go to replay challenge, it brings you right back to it, much like the last solo. It loads it up, ready for you to run it. 
and you just continue to repeat yourself. I'm gonna show you something here. If you give yourself kind of outside the sidelines, see this right here? Now we're doing the celebrating, now it's taking more time. That's not what we want. So make sure that you don't go out of bounds, but you also give yourself up or commit yourself pretty close to the sideline like we did the first time because that's gonna make it more efficient, more fast, and you're gonna earn that XP. We'll do it one more time. I'm not gonna get too repetitive. I think you guys get the point. Just give yourself up by the sideline, right around the 40 yard line. Again, spot check your work. If you do this enough times, five, 10, 15 minutes after that, you're gonna go to return to challenges. It's gonna bring you back to the main menu just so you can check your progress. And as you can see with this solo, you're gonna earn about 70 XP, which is more, but in my opinion, again, the other one takes a little bit less time and it all adds up. Uh, I'm going to be doing both methods because the first one gets very boring after a while. The second one, you do earn your passing yards towards those, those end of the game milestones, those like career milestones, which do give you coin rewards eventually throughout the year. So this one is probably preferred because of the, the other one's faster, but a little bit more boring. Whatever one you want to do, go for it. Get to level 90, get those power up passes. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.